Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and we're going to take a look at Wondershare data recovery. I wanted to show you how this works, and this is sponsored by Wondershare, but this is software I've used before to help recover lost files. So a lot of you ask me how to recover things, uh, how do I get my files back, I've deleted, things like that, and there's a number of solutions, and this one I've used, and it actually works. So I wanted to show you how that works. So it's got a bunch of different options. It's got over 500 different file types it can recover. So if we go here and say recover lost files, what we can do is see the different drives we have attached. Now this is my scratch disk. This is an attached Thunderbolt 2 drive. That's actually a solid state drive. And then we've got the internal drive. So let's take a look at this particular one and we'll just hit scan. Now we could have specified, you'll see that was pretty quick and that wasn't a deep scan, but we click okay. You'll see we have a file in here that was bad and it was made in 9.6 of 2016. And this is an iOS 9.3.5 what's new Final Cut Pro file. Now, if I go back, what you'll see, we could save that, but I'm not going to. If we go back, we can specify a type of file. So maybe we're looking for an image file or a video file and we can enable deep scan as well. And this will help us find things that may have been deleted with a partition even. Uh, and we'll go ahead and hit scan. So this can take some time to recover. Sometimes it doesn't, we'll hit okay. And you'll see it found three different files and these were deleted a while ago. It was modified 313 of 2016. And these are different types of files. It says no preview available. And you'll see this is a one gigabyte file. So we'll see if we can actually recover this. So if we click on this one, we'll say recover. It's going to ask us where we want to recover it. We'll recover it to my desktop here and we'll hit save. And you'll see it's recovering it fairly quickly. And it should show up, well, right here on my desktop. So if we go into that, it brings open this folder. And if I hit the space bar, it should play. So that was something that wasn't there before that I've recovered. So there's that sort of recovery. So that's really nice. We'll go back home and we won't save those results. And anytime you do this, you can actually save the results. We can also do partition recovery or raw recovery. So raw recovery is if a lost file recovery can't find your files, you can try this. And this takes a little bit longer usually, but we'll go again to the scratch disk and We'll scan for deleted files only instead of for all files, and then we'll hit scan. Now, some of these can take quite some time. You'll see this is estimated to take about 20 to 30 minutes. This will change a little bit. And as it recovers things or finds files, you'll see them on the left here. And we can click on them and we'll see just a file name that's a raw file name. We'll see the file size, but it doesn't give us a whole lot of information. So I'm gonna stop this right here and we'll see if we can recover this one particular file. Again, I'll recover it to the desktop, hit save, and it recovered it. So let's see what that is. I'll hit space to play it. And you'll see it's an old video of how to unlock the Galaxy Note 4. It's my audio file that goes along with that. And it works just fine. So that was something that was deleted. So that's nice as well. So here's a plist file, and if we let this run a long time, we'll be able to actually recover all of these different raw files. But you can even go deeper than that, and you can actually recover things with partitions. So basically, you can search deleted, lost, or resized, or corrupted partitions first, and then recover the, the actual files. So I've repartitioned this a couple times, so let's try this one. We'll do a quick search. It found the partition. It sees a FAT32 MS-DOS partition, and that's only 209 megabytes, and then a 255 gigabyte partition for HFS Plus, which is Mac. So we'll see what we've got here. We'll enable raw recovery. We can go to filter options and select the specific type we want. Uh, we'll unselect. You can't just click it here. One at a time. We'll unselect everything except for video. And then we can select disk region. So if we have a specific sector we wanna start at or, or end at that we kinda of know it's at, we can go that deep into it. But right now I'm just scanning. And again, this can take a while because this is raw recovery. And as you'll see on the left, things will start appearing and they're different file types. So here we have MOV, here we have an MP4. So let's stop just so we don't have to take more time. And let's recover both of these. We'll recover them to the desktop and see what they are. 
and it's going to label them kind of in a raw format. Let's go to MOV. And here we even have a preview. And this is an old video before I edited it. So this is a video. It just recovered that footage. It's 267 megabytes. This one should work similarly, although it has no preview. And sometimes if they have no preview, they don't work properly. However, if I let this scan longer, I can recover more. But again, there's a little bit more to this. We have resume recovery. So any of those that we saved, what we can do is actually come back and resume it if we don't have time to resume. So we've got all of these different options that help us recover our different files. Now, if we go over here, you'll see there's a free trial. It's Windows or Mac, and they also just have a specific one for photo recovery. So you've got free lifetime updates and they just send you your code in the mail. And basically this one is a little bit more because it recovers everything. This one recovers just photos, but you can try it with a free trial, see if it works for you before you actually purchase it. And again, these are lifetime licenses, so you don't have to worry about upgrade fees or anything like that. So this one has worked pretty good for me. I've had no issues with it. And again, you can find things that are hidden in partitions you've deleted a long time ago. So if the bits are there and that was a solid state drive, I was recovering off the whole time. So it works pretty good. Let me know what you think of Wondershare in the comments below. I'll leave a link to them in the description below where you can check them out. Also, they have a contest going on where you can win a Galaxy S8. So I'll leave a link to that as well. So let me know again what you think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.